Have you ever had a really difficult day? I know you have because you're in human life. I have too. I had a time one time years ago when I had a large ministry and I put my sermon down on the table and my dog came into the living room and ate the sermon. Literally. I had a golden retriever by the name of Bentley and that dog ate every bite of that sermon. Well, I looked around for the sermon and I found only scraps of the sermon. Then I had to go to church to deliver a sermon that I didn't have. The dog ate it. Well, you tell that story, and I'm not sure how many people, even to this day, believed it. That uh, the minister says that he's unprepared because his dog ate the sermon. But that's exactly what happened. And I give that testimony 20 years after the fact. Sometimes the traffic jams of life Sometimes the dog gobbles up something that the dog shouldn't, and uh, we find ourselves mixed in minor frustrations of life, and we must catch ourselves at that point. We must, at that point, take a deep spiritual breath and lift our thoughts upward instead of projecting our thoughts downward. Although we are here on earth struggling to rise above the distractions of the day, we need never to struggle alone. God is here eternally and faithfully with infinite patience, infinite love, and if we reach out to God, God will restore our perspective just as soon as we're willing to let God restore our perspective, and peace will come to our souls. If you find yourself in a difficult circumstance, a difficult day, remember that God is merciful and God is faithful. It has been said when life is difficult, God wants us to have a faith that trusts and waits. Well, so often, In a difficult day, that is a tough thing to do, yet it is what we must do. In Deuteronomy 4, verse 30 and 31, it says, It will be hard when all these things happen to you, but after that you will come back to the Lord your God and obey God, because the Lord your God is a merciful God. God will not leave you or destroy you. God will not forget the agreement with your ancestors, which God swore to them. Well, my friend, if you become discouraged with the direction of your day, if you're having a difficult day, or your life is becoming more and more difficult, lift your thoughts Sometimes that's a heavy load, but lift your thoughts up and your prayers up to God, and God will comfort you, and God will guide you through your difficulties. God knows the way out of every maze of life, and God can guide you and then beyond the maze to wonderful pastures of calm.